Hi everyone. It's week 34. I'm getting really, really excited. I can I cannot wait. When I first went to this doctor, they checked my blood type and they told me that I was Rh negative. And I was talking to my mom, and she was telling me that's that's not right. It's not right at all, um, because she had the Rogam shot whenever she was pregnant with me. And then once again, whenever, um, whenever um, after right after she delivered me, she had it again, and she said that her blood type was Rh negative. And she wouldn't have need the, needed the Rogam shot if she and I had the same blood type. So we, when I went back to this, when I was at this doctor, I told him, you know, hey, my mom, she, um, she thinks that I might be Rh positive or A positive, and not A negative. Can y'all check it again? And so he did and came back RH negative, so I have no idea what my mom was talking about at all. But it's okay. I guess I love her. He said that Ty's head down already, and but he's not locked into place. He's just kind of bobbing around, <laughs> but he's but he's um he's there. Garrett was actually off that day. So he was going to come with me to the appointment, but he got really really sick. And so I ended up taking care of him all night, the night before the appointment. And then the my appointment was like at 10.15 in the morning. And I asked him if he wanted to go, and he was like, no, I can't do it. So I went afterwards and got him some tomato soup and Gatorade. And <laughs> I was so tired because I'd stayed up with him all night to make sure he was going to be okay. We're packing right now because we're going to the lake and I'm so excited. We leave tomorrow, actually. And, um, I, I've been a little lazy, and I kind of haven't packed as much as I should have been packing. <laughs> but it's getting done, slowly. I mean, we're not leaving until tomorrow, and it's, um, 7.47 right now where I'm at. I was so worried. <laughs> I kept asking everybody, um, I've done like so much research on the swimming while you're pregnant in a lake because a lot of people have been telling me no that's not good and because um, yeah, of bacteria in the lake and it'll harm the baby and stuff and I'm you know I, I understand but then again I'm also thinking I have not lost my mucus plug and he's surrounded by this sack, so <laughs> not too sure how it would harm the baby. But I ended up asking my doctor anyway, just to make sure. And he said that he sees nothing wrong with it, and um, just ask a few people if I wanted to. Um, ask some people how clean the lake is. He gave me a number to call or something. And I was just like, okay. So I just asked a few people on here, I was like, uh, do you ever go swimming in a lake, or is it alright to go swimming in a lake, do you know? And everyone was like, I don't see why not. So I'm going swimming in the lake, because I don't care. When I said in my last video that I don't have the nesting instinct, well, I think I'm like getting it in spurts, because I ended up rearranging the entire house um, while Garrett was at work one day. Don't worry, I scooted everything. <laughs> Everyone told me don't lift, so I scooted it. I said, oh, I'm not going to hurt anything if I scoot it and do it nicely. So I scooted everything into a different place. And we ended up painting Ty's room. It's like, it's a dark purple, blue, like, it's, okay, it's the, it's like a color that can be, Argue, argued over back and forth, uh, whether it's blue, or whether it's dark blue or dark purple, because it's just that color. And sometimes you'll look at it and be like, oh, that's dark purple. And then the other times you'll look at it and you're like, no, that's dark blue. So <laughs> he's got a retard color on his wall, and which is not a problem for me because it still matches everything that we're going to put in there, which we're not done yet. So I can't exactly show you the nursery because I don't have everything in there. And, but we painted his wall, 
or walls, I guess. And we also painted the kitchen because I love my kitchen and it's like a little chef man <laughs> and he's so cute. I absolutely love him. So my entire kitchen is like this chef man thing and painted the walls like a dark brown and got the border. And um actually hold on, let me show you what it looks like. Okay. This little guy, he's the cutest little thing in the world and I absolutely adored him when I saw him and I wanted him for my kitchen and I don't know why. I've been sleeping really horrible actually. Uh my husband works the night shift. So he leaves about five thirty and at night, he was at five thirty at night and doesn't get back till five thirty in the morning. And so I'm just sitting here and I'm like, I don't know what to do at all. And so it's kind of sad. Actually, it's really pathetic because I don't do anything all day. The only thing I do is clean and, um, clean, tie. Actually, he doesn't kick as much as he was like a week ago. He's just kind of chilling in there. I guess he's waiting for the big day too because he's not doing much anymore. Back pain has gotten significantly worse. Um, and it hurts so bad. Oh my gosh. It feels like somebody just keeps punching me in the lower back. And it's, it's horrible. And now I'm getting shooting pains, like, down my butt. Like, um, feels like, I guess he just rolls on a nerve. And it just sends, like, twinges down my butt. And it feels like my butt cheek. <laughs> like, it just kind of like, I don't know. It's horrible, though. And it hurts so bad. I guess I'll see y'all whenever I get back from the lake. So, have fun, guys. Okay, so this is little tie, or big tie, I guess. And, um, he has grown significantly. Maybe not from my last videos, but from, um, just me looking down. Yeah, he's a lot more pointier towards the front. So, and he's still has not popped the belly button out. Just the top part is kind of, I mean, the top part is popped out, but it's not like, um, the entire belly button is not popped out. So it's like a half moon thing. 